morning everyone welcome back to my channel i am up i am ready for the day i'll show you guys what i'm wearing a little bit later um in a day when i'm heading out but i am loving this outfit i'm looking myself in the mirror i'm loving this like color combination we all know how much i love white mixed in with brown especially this time of the year it's just the vibes that it's the fall vibes you know i have a little bit of h&m haul for you guys i put this order probably three weeks ago when when i was not even in la i put this order in little by little i took bits and bobs out of it to use so i kind of know what i ordered but the remaining of them that are still in their packaging i don't remember um what i got so we're gonna go through the um h&m like fall pieces that i picked up um i have an or another order that is supposed to arrive so i put this order Order in then I remembered that I forgot a few bits and bobs so immediately after I put the other order this one arrived like literally 10 days ago like normal time that usually H&M ships but my other order is nowhere to be found there is no tracking there's nothing that I could track it down basically I messaged H&M they're like we don't know where it is it seems we received the order and we sent it to processing but there is no it has been packed but we don't have shipping information how weird is that so i don't have those items they offered to look into it for me more so they said within 24 to 48 hours they'll get back to me if they can't locate the item they'll go ahead and refund me which is such a shame because some of the items are no longer available online there were very cute blazers and a couple of dresses like fallish dresses in that order um but unfortunately i don't have them so we're gonna try this on there are already items in this uh haul that i know are um, I'm going to return so probably tomorrow we go to H&M to return the items that I don't want and I'm hoping I'll be able to find those items in store um, another thing is that when I was uh, shopping online they were having 20% off sale and usually that's not the case um, in store so that's another thing that made a little bit annoyed because blazers are not cheap they're pretty expensive um, but yeah, anyway, without me rambling on, let's get into the box of H&M items. This is the messiest H&M box that I ever had. Like literally this box was in the corner of our living room and every time I needed something from it, I took things out. And this is the state of it now. Why did I keep them empty plastic bags? I would never know. Let's get into the first item, which is a staple of this season, especially this year. Oh my god, this is so soft and cozy. A striped, 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 stri striped. I'm saying that correctly, right? Striped um, sweater. Um, I have one that I got from Zara and I absolutely love that sweater to bits. Like, love, love, love it. Um, this one is basically a little bit of a fuzzy and knitted one and a little bit thinner version of the other one that I have. I feel like for LA weather especially, this is fantastic for, um, what do you call it, for uh, fall, especially this drape kind of a situation how chic and cute is that i got this in a size medium because i could tell that it, uh, it's a little bit oversized and as much as i love oversized items when it comes to sweaters i like them to be just a little bit snug because um i don't know when i wear too many oversized items it just makes me look very boxy and i'm not the tallest person so i personally like a little bit of a snogger look so i went with medium and i'm going to try it on and see how this fits on me i'm kind of really really liking this neckline of it as well i feel like it can look great with like chunky necklace and like a bold lip i can't wait to style this bajillion ways this necklace looks a little bit excessive with the sweater please ignore it but couldn't be bothered to take it off uh, but here is the striped sweater and i am absolutely obsessed with it i would probably tuck it in or tuck it in my bra to make it a little bit of a crop kind of a situation it is one thing i'll say it is not the softest of a material like it it feels very soft to the touch but while i have it on it's just a tad, not itchy, but not the softest. It's just a little bit rougher on the inside, but it's not to the to the extent that will bother me. It's so interesting that to the touch, it's super, super soft. But while I have it on, it's a little bit like, not spiky. I don't know how to put it 
in words it's not the softest that's what i would say but regardless i'm gonna keep it because i really really like it and usually striped striped sweaters are very heavy when it's from zara and stuff and this is not super heavy and that's what i personally like about it it's a lightweight knit i really really like this and i'll be keeping this the next item that unfortunately i have to return and get a bigger size because i got it i mean it does fit me but it's a little bit small and it's like not the most comfortable we all know how obsessed i am with nirvana so i got this pink bright pink nirvana sweatpants i just absolutely love it they had a matching t-shirt of it but unfortunately it was sold out um so i got this in a size medium and it does fit me but it's not the most comfortable around the waistline um especially the waistline if it has such a thick band and i feel like it's not the comfort level that i would want it to be so unfortunately i will be returning this and getting it in a size large hopefully they still have it but it's just overall i absolutely love 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 h&m sweatpants it also has a pocket um just overall i really really like their um, sweatpants they're super comfortable great quality and they're not super expensive next up we have a pants that again is going to be returned because I don't know why I got this in small like there's no stretch to this like barely any stretch to this and not small I got it in medium but it is this ribbed material black pants I have a bodysuit um, that I wanted to wear with this but unfortunately this does not fit me whatsoever not even to an extent for me to try it on for you guys it is a beautiful beautiful pair of pants super like it's thick enough that like it sits nicely but it's not like thin enough that shows through uh, but yeah unfortunately this will be a return i'll insert a picture of the model wearing it for you guys so you have an idea of how this fits but it's basically a um high-waisted straight leg ribbed material kind of a pants that looks like in my opinion she can classy and sophisticated it can be a great office wear as well it's super soft material uh, but unfortunately this will be a return and i'll see if they have a bigger size uh when i go into store tomorrow if not then i'll put an order online for a bigger size of this we all know i've been very much into my morning walk and it's getting a little bit colder um right now i'm going out with like a sports bra and my like leggings and i wear like a hoodie or something with me uh, but i feel like when the weather gets a little bit colder i won't be able to go out just with a sports bra i'll need like a long sleeve top underneath my hoodie or like sweater um so i saw this and i just loved how cropped long sleeve fitted it is uh, but I didn't realize it's gray. I don't know if the color com camera is picking up on it, but it is not black and that kind of just bothered my soul to be honest with you. I do have like a pink and a gray set that this will work great with it, but I don't know. I'm a little bit hesitant. Also, it's a little bit small on me. I got it in a size large and even though it does have like a stretch to it, but it is not the most comfortable um, sport top. So I might just like return this and get something in black um, and if I wanted it in gray probably I need to size up in it this is in a size, size large but it is not the most comfortable sport top so unfortunately this will be a return as well and these are h&m's basic sweaters that pretty much i think i have it in every single color um i got this in a size medium again because it's like an oversized kind of a situation um it is one of those that like you can't tell is it gray undertone no i don't think this is gray undertone this is actually a beige undertone it has beige and gray mixed in together and i think this can look very cute again either drapes over your shoulder which is a vibe for la during fall because it doesn't get that um cold like we legitimately do it doesn't get cold here until like end of november december um so it can be again a great because it's such a neutral color it can be great like draping kind of a situation or during winter or colder month it can be a fantastic base layer with blazers jeans it's just such a good neutral color and i imagine wearing this with like a chanel brooch and like jeans and like cute beige and black heels that would be such a classy and chic look just like the other one this one is again very soft to the touch but it is even a little bit more spiky compared to the like other one 
what is happening with this i love 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 the feet of it love the color love the shape of this but i think i'm going to return this because i feel honestly a little bit itchy wearing it and it's so interesting that when you touch it it is the softest material i just even with this necklace i really really like it but i don't know maybe i have to wash it and it will get better i would probably wear it a little bit more cropped like this and look how cute is that it's such a cute look you know what i'll keep it it was not that expensive i think if i wash it it will feel a little bit better um or maybe it will get worse probably you guys are yelling that now if you wash it it will get worse but i don't know it's so interesting that they're so soft to touch but when you're wearing them maybe the inside material is different oh yeah the inside of it is completely different you know what i'm deciding that i'm gonna keep this because i really really like the color and i really really like the fit of it so even though it's a little bit spiky i'm going to keep it the next items are actually a matching separate which if i'm not mistaken one of them is extra large and the other one is large yeah here is the skirt of it we all know how much i love matching separates so i got this um they had this last year as well and i remember it vividly so many times i came to buy it but because how short the skirt was i just didn't get it i have not yet still tried this on so i need to try it on to see how short it is um so i got basically this cable net cable knit skirt and here is the matching sweater and the sweater they only had size extra large available um so i got it and since it's cropped i was like that could be kind of cute if it's oversized but it's like a crop sweater again same material same color the same cable knit design um with like a round neck so together i just thought they would look very cute one thing i do not like is the fact that they are beige but they're gray undertone beige i pay attention to details like that um, but i was like with gold jewelry and like brown boots i can warm it up a little bit um so let's just try it on and see how this fits on me because as i mentioned i had my eye on this set ever since last year and i can't believe that they brought it back like I'm excited that they brought it back. I just hope that it fits me nicely. So excited that I got this because it's so cute and adorable. The sweater is obviously a little bit big on me because it's extra large. If it was large, it would have fit better. But regardless, I'm gonna keep it. I absolutely love it. Since it's a crop sweater, I can just like wear it as is. Um, I can wear it with um, jeans. I can wear it with pants. There is a million ways that I could wear this. And I just love, love, love it. The height of the skirt is not too short. So I'll be comfortable wearing it. But one thing I am noticing is that... I don't know if the camera is picking up on it. Um, maybe if I zoom it a little bit closer. I feel like the color of this and the... Um, skirt is not the same the skirt is a little bit brighter i mean you can see there this one is a little bit more gray undertone this one is a little bit more beige undertone i don't know can you guys see the difference of it yeah you can like very easily see the difference the um skirt is like a ivory it's like whiter and the top is a little bit gray so that's not nice i'll wait for my sisters so i can show them if they can spot the difference because it might be the lighting here if they can spot the difference then i'm returning it if they can't spot it then i'll keep it i'll let you guys know when we're going to h&m to return the remaining of the items i'll let you guys know what i decided on this set uh, but so far besides the color difference i am just obsessed with it can we appreciate my fall background like i know there are like pink flowers underneath our tv i have not yet changed changed things up in our house for fall and winter uh, but like can we appreciate my background like that has been our background literally for the past like 10 days like ever since i got back that has been our background because we are manifesting fall pretty much but anyway back to the haul um this pair of basic um leggings i ordered it to go with one of my looks um uh, from my revolve um outfits uh, but again i ordered it in large or medium let's see i ordered it in large 
um i will just be returning i'm not gonna size up in it it does fit me very tightly but it is very very see-through like i don't think even if i get a bigger size the see-throughness of it will go away um so unfortunately i'm not going to try this on for you guys because as i said it's extremely see-through and unflattering um and the fabric of it is super thin this one was a major fail pretty much oh i remember this dress i think i bought it in two sizes i bought x oh yeah there it is so this is the extra large i bought it in a large as well so this is basically a short sleeve round neck sweater dress and one thing i absolutely loved about this dress first of all how like soft and cozy does this fabric look and the second thing i don't know if you guys can see but it's one of those dresses that hugs your curls and obviously i have smaller waist and my hips are a little bit bigger so usually these dresses sit really nicely it's sometimes a hit and miss because sometimes the curve of it is not in a correct place since i'm a little bit short um but we will try this on i have really high hopes for it the large will fit me but probably it would be a little bit too short for me um so yeah it's such a cozy kind of a situation i imagined wearing this with like gold jewelry like black um black and gold boots or you can dress it up with like a knee-high boot um and again gold jewelry we always have gold jewelry because we're gold jewelry people up here <laughs> um or like blazer on your shoulders i think it's such a good versatile um kind of a situation and pretty much i only wear black during fall and winter so when i saw this i was like okay the material of it seems very very um soft and it's kind of a dress that you can dress it up or dress it down and we all know that's a very very important thing when it comes to uh, buying pieces that you can wear it both dressed up or dressed down that's one of the most important things um when i'm shopping pretty much I thought i would like it but i don't at all it's not the fit of it it's just overall i don't like the short sleeve and the high neck of it i don't think it looks good on me i feel like it's a little bit i don't know i like sometimes wearing black but at least i need a little bit of like chest for chest to be open you know i know that's a very weird way of describing things but I feel like it's just I'm not feeling great in this dress so and this is the extra large of it the large of it was a little bit too short um, why am I out of focus um, yeah the large was a little bit too short on me um, so even the extra large of it I'm not obsessed with how it looks on me love the fit of it it looks fantastic the height of it is great um, like it's right above the knee um, I really, really like it from that aspect, but just the overall of it, I feel, I don't know. I'm not crazy about this dress, so I'll be returning it. Then I bought three belts, which one of them is already out of its packaging because I, I used it a couple of days ago. Here is the black version of it. And to be honest with you, I don't remember what this one is, but so we're going to open it up. Let's start from these two. So these are the exact same thing. They remind me, reminded me a lot of Celine belts. Um, they have a gold buckle. And I don't know, for some reason they reminded me of Celine like logo belt. And I love, love, love those belts. But I just recently got two YSL ones. So that's why I'm like, I'm not gonna buy another like designer one. I'll just buy something that looks similar to it. So I got this, I got it in the black and in the, in, um, beige then i got this one um i have one belt from um zara which is like pretty much this color but it is like it has a fabric material i don't know how to say it is it like i think it's like a linen material and during winter i personally don't like to use that belt because it gives me summer vibe and i saw this um such a neutral color on um h&m i just thought i'll give this a try but this will be small on me this is a size medium why would i get a medium yeah this doesn't even come together but it's a very very cute belt so this needs to be returned and i should get it in a bigger size so this is how it looks it's such a cute belt especially with sweater dresses it would be beautiful but i don't know why i got it in a size medium so yeah 
this will be a return and i have to get a bigger size than this that is everything that i got from h&m i'm gonna link everything that i have for you guys in the description box below and when i go to h&m hopefully tomorrow or the next day oh tomorrow i have a meeting in the morning but i think after my meeting we can go oh and i want to get my nails done okay tomorrow will be a little bit tricky but at one point in this vlog um we will go to h&m and i'll see what do they have in store and obviously i'll take you guys along with me i'm really hoping i'll be able to find the pieces that didn't arrive in store um and also the items that i wanted in a different size i'm really really hoping that i'll be able to find it in store especially this belt i love this belt like this is a gorgeous belt and it will go fantastic with my wardrobe so tonight i have girls night um and i think i'm gonna wear the same outfit i'm wearing because it's really really cute i keep going for the pockets on the side but the pockets of the shorts is like in the front um i'm really really liking it um so i will probably maybe i'll change my t-shirt and wear something that doesn't have this thing you guys can't see it right now but like it has this things on the side um so um yeah maybe i'll change my t-shirt but i'm kind of really really liking this outfit um i could wear it with my black and the beige flats or even the black and beige heels if i want to wear heels um it would be such a cute look uh but anyway i have girls night tonight we're going to a um a restaurant that i've never been before and since it's tuesday we're gonna go taco tuesday there and that restaurant that we're going to um they're known for their taco tuesday um it's such a cute place and the way that they present their drinks and food is so adorable so it will be a very very fun night but for the time being let's go out eat something and then get to the remaining of the work bits and bobs of the day here is my fabulous lunch it might not look very appetizing but i promise you it is really really good so i made it the base uh, not the base like this toppings yesterday i today i just basically um added a bit of uh, lettuce and then this basically this mix is chickpeas with paprika it's cherry tomatoes red onion it's a little bit of quinoa with lemon water and what else is in there i think that's about oh avocado and then i topped it off with a little bit of um feta cheese and i'm going to have this it just i promise you it's really really good oh i forgot to mention i added a little bit of pesto and mayo as a sauce as well on it so it is just like phenomenally good good afternoon everyone who's calling me okay good afternoon everyone i am on my way to dinner i'm actually going to target first and then i'm gonna head out to dinner with my friends which i'm very 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 excited i didn't get to show you guys my outfit before i leave but i recorded the reels i'm gonna insert it here for you guys the only things that are different is obviously i have a headband it gives me blur waldorf vibes um and i changed my necklace because i just felt like with the thick headband that thick um, necklace was a little bit too much um, so i'm wearing this pearl necklace from zina jewelry and my outfit the remaining of my outfit is the same as the one that you guys saw you guys will see on the reels that i'm gonna insert for you guys here uh, my sister has target pickup and she needed the items tonight um so like a good sister that i am i am going to uh, pick up her um target pickup and then i'm gonna head out to dinner i'm really 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 hungry um we're going to a place um that has like really really good tacos and apparently very delicious um cocktails so i'm very much looking forward to Good morning everyone, it is bright and early, I mean not that bright and early, it's like 7am and even though I am still half asleep, I am on my way to go on my morning walk, I am wearing this set from Fabletic, my shoes are from Amazon, these are so 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 comfortable and they're like below $50, like they're just amazing quality. I even put them in a washing machine and literally nothing happened to them. And it is sunny, but like it seems cold outside. So I'm just gonna take a sweater with me um, in case it is cold outside. I'm gonna listen to podcasts. It's 
this is actually the future me um, so this morning after my walk I totally forgot to continue vlogging until I got to H&M um, so here is basically the intro of it good morning everyone I got up early as you guys saw went on my walk I was literally half asleep on my walk but I had a really really good like w long walk I think it was an hour and like 15 minutes got back home had my morning smoothie and then got ready for the day it was today was such a hectic day got ready for the day went on my express photo shoot then came back home changed and went to H&M so now we're gonna going to the H&M section of the video um, I took you guys along with me to H&M fitting room there were a lot of cute bits and bobs which you guys can see it um, now oh by the way before you guys going to watch the H&M section um, my order that I was telling you guys was lost finally I received an email yesterday that it was apparently somewhere in their warehouse now it is shipped and my items were available and I'm gonna receive it probably in like three to four days I don't know why am I so out of breath, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna receive it within two to three days, um, which is exciting. But let's go ahead and cut into the H&M in the store try on section now. actually change into the H&M items let me show you guys what I am wearing this is a t-shirt from Zara I absolutely love this bedazzled I was talking to my um, cousin Athena she was like did you add this I was like no like Zara can be sometimes very creative uh, but I'm wearing this um, t-shirt from Zara that has the bedazzled my jeans are Express, YSL bag, YSL belt. Um, these shoes are from a few years ago. They are like a great um, Chanel dupe, uh, but they are from DSW. And I'm wearing these little earrings from um, Amazon and my usual links. Absolutely in love with this dress. How chic and sophisticated is this? It's a ribbon material wrap dress, but it's actually already wrapped and sewed in. It has its own belt, which I'm kind of really liking it. I'm not a huge like black fan, we all know, but I'm trying to wear it a little bit more because it's such a chic and effortlessly gorgeous color, like especially for fall and um, what do you call it, winter. Um, it looks great with the shoes as well, like with a um, gold and black bag with like a chunky gold necklace. It will look phenomenal. I really, really hope I'm not gonna get copyrighted because of the music, but. I love this. So this is a size extra large. I think I'm gonna try on the size large as well just to see how it fits because it's just a little bit big here but I can for sure like pin it here but I'm scared if I wear the size large then this area would be a little bit too tight but for sure I'm taking this absolutely love 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 it. How chic and sophisticated is this dress? So I tried on size extra large, it was too big. This is the size large and I am obsessed with it. It gives me such a Chanel vibe, like with a Chanel brush with the same shoes or even with boots. Phenomenal. This dress is coming home with me. I've been looking for the perfect black coat. This one is not what I'm looking for, but still it is very, very chic and sophisticated. It's such a beautiful coat and it's not too expensive. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a wool material. It's so chic and this is a size medium. I think I'm going to try on the size small and see if it fits me because these are a little bit too oversized, but I really, really like it. Let me wear it so you guys can see it like properly on me as well. This is how it looks properly on I love 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 the length of it just love everything about it but I feel like it's a little bit big I would have preferred it to be a little bit snugger so I think I'm going to try on this size small and probably get the size small obviously you can cinch it in with your belt as well if you want that look but I will probably wear it just like this how chic is that this is actually one of the blazers that I have in my online order that is going to arrive hopefully like by mid next week um, such a beautiful beautiful blazer it is the same material as the dress so if you work in the office this is a gorgeous look 
I would probably not wear them together because I personally don't like the look of it. I mean, unless I'm going to a very proper business meeting, but I absolutely love this blazer. I love the length of it. It's just, I love, love it. I think I got it in a size large. This is a medium and I think I'll love the fit of this. So I'll probably purchase this and return the large one when it arrives. It's such a beautiful, beautiful blazer. I love the gold details. Again, it gives me like Chanel Balmain vibes. Love this together, but I feel like I need to size up in both of them. The top is size large. I feel like I need a size extra large because I don't know, it's, it's a very thin material, so I feel like no matter how many sizes I go up, it will still be a little bit see-through. But I love the design of it, love the shape, love the like little details of the sleeve, love the top. Um, and then the skirt, I'm obsessed with it. This is size 14, but it is tight on me. I need a size 16, I actually have the size 16 outside. So I'm gonna just swap it out for the size 16. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful skirt. It is a mini skirt, so just keep that in mind, but I love the color love the shape love the design love everything about it it will look gorgeous with heels or with thigh high boots um, but just keep it in mind that it does run small such a bad quality it is so see-through so this would be a no but I am obsessed with the color and like the style of it I love 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 this green it's such a unique I don't think the camera is picking up on how like beautiful this skirt is but like the color of it is but it's such a bad quality and I don't know it just sits weirdly on me unfortunately it's cute but no I don't think I'm gonna go for it it's too much of a flimsy material okay how are we feeling about this pants I like the color again the camera is not picking up on it it's like a very light green I don't know, I kind of like it. It's like a baggy, straight leg, a kind of a jean situation. But I don't know if I should size up in it. This is size 14, but I feel like if I size up in it, then it would be a little bit too big. Is this 14 or 12? Oh, this is 12, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, I don't like how this area sits, but it can be the top underneath as well. It's kind of cute, but... You know how I like my waist to be cinched in? I feel like this is a, this does not do that, even though it's like a paper bag, like stretchy waist, but it is not doing that. I don't know. I feel like maybe should I get this and try it at home and see how I like it because the length of it is absolutely amazing. But I feel like it is making this area of me too big and I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Like I look very boxy and square. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass on this, but it's such a cute uh, pair of jeans. I love, love, love the color, love the length, love the design of it, but I don't think it looks flattering on me. After H&M, um, I went out to lunch. I was with my mom, so we had like a shopping day. Um, so we went to actually Cheesecake Factory, which I have not been there in a million years. Um, so we went there like the salad portion was this big. I forgot how Cheesecake Factory salad portions are like it I'm not joking. It was actually this big um, So I was barely able to eat like the quarter of it. I'm gonna close up this video here uh, but tomorrow morning I'm picking up picking my camera back up because um, I have a very exciting day and we're finally going to get the house ready for fall, which I'm very 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 excited but yeah with that being said, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!